Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 44 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, who have we not beaten Greed Mode as? Oh, yeah, has to remind me that The Lost also has not beaten Greed Mode. Okay. Well, we might as well try to finish Lazarus' post-it note right now, because all he needs is Greed Mode. So, let's get to it, shall we? Oh my god, they actually did <laughs> Oh, that's right, I need its blessing in the last run, and they spawned me with Godhead! Okay, RC, 3, B, 2, W, A, E, Eastern Standard Time. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna pretty fly right off the bat. Oh, latch key, that's really nice, I suppose. You know, those lockups that'll be useful in uh, greed mode. Well, you can't always win them all. You got Ghost Baby. Oh my goodness. Like, how did you... Of all the things they give me, they gave me Godhead? That is like the best shit ever. Yeah, we can make this work. In fact, we can so make this work. We can actually try to do this without turning into Bloody Lazarus. Like, let's just try to do this on Lazarus' default life. Like, if we were lucky enough to start with Godhead, we might as well just milk this for what it's worth. Like, if we can get, like, ourselves a shit ton of money to put in our donation machine, we are gonna get even closer to the Keeper before you even know it. I pressed the button like an idiot, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Well, that's gonna be a minor setback, so I might as well go to the Curse Room now. Eh, never mind. We pretty much got better off than we were before. As if that was even possible. I don't like any of these items, so I'm just gonna re-roll them. Uh... Yeah, we'll buy the Soul Heart. But I think that's most of what I'm gonna buy for now. Like, if we can get some items that boost our tears, or our straight damage, we probably don't need to buy so much. Like, we can get away with acquiring so little compared to what we would if we were starting greed mode, or at least starting a Lazarus run in general, who's normally so weak starting off because of his unlucky stats. But if you just get Godhead, that just buffs it up a lot. Like, you can get away with a little bit more. I mean, look at that, we practically wrecked one set of Gurglings already. Like, how often can you say that as, like, normal Lazarus? You can't! Oh my, they just gave me the exact same wave! Okay, well, that was just dumb. Okay, so I can't just play recklessly just because I have got hit. Let, let's be realistic now. Let's try to bring ourselves back down to Earth. And I think an Envy fight tends to do that pretty easily. So let's just work with what we got right now, which is... Quite a lot. I mean, we saved on some keys for, like, the, the next floor, which is pretty good. Hopefully we won't need more than one. You know, I mean, gold chest, after all. But we'll see what we got working for us in our deal with the devil. Maw of the Void. We've had Maw of the Void as Lazarus before, didn't we? And I think that's a straight damage up, isn't it? That with Godhead could be pretty interesting. Should we go experimental treatment? Yeah, let's try it. Okay, our damage went a little bit. No, I think our damage kind of stayed the same. But we did get some health out of that. We still don't have an active item, but we'll be fine. Well, maybe I didn't have Maw of the Void as Lazarus. It's probably Samson that I had it as him. But I know I had Maw of the Void as someone, and that was like a really good item. Yeah, Daddy Longlegs could actually help out as well. We'll check out the curse room later. Oh my god! So Godhead with Maw of the Void 
causes my ring to somewhat home? That is fucking crazy! As if Godhead could not be any better. It synergizes with Ma the Void. That is downright absurd. I was not expecting that. That is crazy. Like, you're creating some dankness right now. Oh my god, growth hormones is here too? Okay, so we're going to be doing even more damage. And we're practically one syringe away from spun. Oh my god, we just destroyed the Widow. Okay, we could not destroy Chubb. I mean, you can't win them all. I'm loving this, guys. This is just too good. Okay, well, note to self, stop trying to use Maw the Void right next to Bomb Flies. Otherwise, you won't live long enough to have a good time. Well, we were bound to get Krampus. We don't even have an active item, so I'm good with Krampus' head. I think now we can check our curse room. Get two bombs. We'll check for a secret room here. We did find one. And that gave us... Okay! This is getting crazy now. And I love it. Yeah, we can open this. We'll use our last bomb to make that happen. Hmm. Wasn't exactly the best payout, but oh well. Either way, we got ourselves a very interesting run. And it's gonna end before you even know it. Like, you won't even get a chance to enjoy it. I'm sorry. What a nickel. Look, we probably don't need Krampus' head. So anything that can give us a little extra money for more spending? Oh my god, like, pageant boy! That's convenient for greed mode. Okay, I can live with that. We'll put this thing right over here, next to that special shopkeeper. I want to put it in such a way that I can get, like, three of these at once. That's my kind of Triforce right there. Beat that, Zelda. <laughs> Actually, Zelda can beat that pretty easily. I'm still waiting for Zelda U. Gotta remember to keep playing like Wooden Nickel every chance I can. Hasn't been paying out much, though. In fact, I don't know if it even has. It only paid out once, and that was when I picked it up in the first place. I'm getting more payouts with Black Hearts from Maw of the Void. At least that item has never let me down. Unlike some items. Come on, I gave up Kramps' head for you, dude. You gotta start, like, putting in some work. Oh, I thought I could get that guy. Come on, Steen, where are ya? Where are ya? Don't creep up on me, you little bastard. Oh, he did try to creep up on me, but... I'm gonna get the last laugh. That, see? Oh. Okay, that's, uh... Bloat, yeah. I was getting kind of confused, because there's a green bloat and a green peep. They just function a little differently. Just one's more annoying than the other. And I think you can take a guess who's the more annoying one of the two. Oh, I forgot you're still alive. We can't go having that, now can we? Yeah, we'll check the curse room. Wow, I have no bombs for that. Oh, no reroll machine. That sucks. Because I'll buy a key for the next floor. I don't really feel good about getting pills. 
get this fully charged, and go to town on one of them. And that didn't really do a lot. Oh well, at least I still have Godhead. And Daddy Longlegs, I can't forget about you, I mean, you've been the MVP of some rooms. Or some waves, rather. Some rooms would imply that you've been there for me the whole time, and sometimes I've had to wait for you. Empty vessel? Um... If we go empty vessel, we have to take Horror Babylon as well. So, Empty Vessel gives you the ability to fly as long as you have no Red Heart containers. And it can give you some occasional invincibility. Provided you have no Red Heart containers at all. Or maybe you cannot have them, but as long as they're empty. I don't know. It is a new item, so I think it was worth taking. And it's actually a pretty good one. So, I say we'll give it a shot. Besides, so that was an item we unlocked as Lazarus just by beating the Hush. Look, Wooden Nickel has not been paying out for me, so I'm going to go with Book of Sin instead. Oh, the PJs pretty much made up for all the health I've had to give up. Hmm. Sure, we'll get this to get more uses out of that. We'll also take Nun's Habit, just so I can be rewarded for taking stupid damage. And there we go, we got our soul heart back. Let's see if we can get more money out this way. We do! Good. Yeah, I think we're just gonna stick with Book of Sin. Because at least that has a guarantee to pay out with something good. Even if we may not always like the item, we can use it. Okay, that w that could have been catastrophic. Oh, you're still alive. Look at that, we're probably gonna replace all our soul hearts with black hearts, and that's Empty Vessel kicking in. Giving us an invincibility. And it lasts quite a while, like more than the Polaroid does. So, it does better invincibility than certain other items. That in itself is a winner in my book. Oh, that's the Forsaken. I was wondering where that bony came from. Well, I know where he's gonna go now. Hopefully where Carrion Queen is going. It took one wall wave! That is nuts! I still can't get over how good this run is. Like, this is... Is this a run where we tap out early? Like, maybe to the point of Shoal? We could consider it. It all depends on what we get here. Okay, it's looking a lot more tempting to just tap out right now. I mean, look at our damage. It's pretty good right now. Health is not bad, either. So we can just, like, go straight down and only take what's necessary. Not something we'd like to have, but something we have to have. Okay. I actually don't know. If we take Ipecac, we could probably fuck ourselves a little bit. So I'm actually gonna pass. We can reroll this. Hmm. This gives me more invincibility from what I heard. So as good as Ipecac is, I can't bring myself to take it. I just can't. Normally, I would take it in a heartbeat. But right now, it just feels like it would be a liability rather than a pretty damn good idea. Okay, well, that did very little for us. But whatever. It's there. Oh, wow, that was a bit of a bullshit hit right there. 
Can't say bullshit without hit, that's for sure. <laughs> it's true, you can't. That's how it's spelled. Okay. Let's go straight on. Deal with the cage. Not Johnny. <laughs> Oh, you almost knocked me right into the button, you bastard. Don't go causing me an extra, costing me an extra payout. I earned that money, and I'm going to get it. I'm trying to chip away my paycheck. Oh, God. This, these mofos. There's three of them. You make me wish I took Epicac now. Okay, don't don't get hit so much. Oh wow, I got puberty fighting the stain. That that could be taken so many different ways right there. Okay, that's awesome. Um, that was kinda pointless. Um there's not really anything I could want. In fact, we should only pick up items we never picked up before. Just to add them to our collection. Oh, ho, ho, I love you, game. As if you could not make this run any better. You go and do that. Give me two of diamonds. Uh, we'll per throw if the items here are shit. That's two of hearts. Kind of wish I didn't pick that up. I guess we could take Torn Photo. No, poor throw the rest. We're not gonna take toothpicks. As tempted as I was, we're not gonna take it. The lover is pointless. We'll blow this up. And that was also pointless. So I guess we, we just tap out right now. We not only have a high damaging run, but we are very efficient in just being able to shoot at all. We don't really need anything else. We're done. Just hold fire to win. That's all we need to do now. That's a range down or a puberty, isn't it? I know that's not a good pill. Pills have not been great. That's why I didn't take little baggy. Oh my goodness. This is too good. I can't get over it. No, it's bombs are key. Okay. Like we'll take all this money, but anything above 99 we don't take. Double conquest? Okay, that was not a wave I ever thought could happen. Okay, well, that, that's not too hard then. Wow, they, these guys didn't even stand a chance. Triple Huss is definitely not going to stand a chance either. Not even close. You guys aren't either, surprisingly. This is pretty much the best I'm going to do against this wave in a long time. Uh, actually, that's not true. I've done better against this wave before. Getting some invincibility does not hurt either. Unless this thing just stays underground the whole time. Um, did I already get like two guppy items? I know I had a uh, guppy's tail. Yeah, I only had the one. All right. I guess there's no no point in me taking Guppy's head then. Is there really anything else that I could want? Not really. I think we just go and just just remember to use two of diamonds once we get to like 49 cents. If only I had blank card, I would have been able to duplicate that, but it didn't show up. Oh, super greed. It was nice knowing ya. Oh, you give me the quarter. There's no sense for me to even take it. 
I, I might as well... Can I actually, like, leave the room when I defeat the boss? I don't think you can leave the room. Because if you could, then I could just go back for the quarter later. I don't really need to use Maw of the Void unless I have to. Like, probably use it against the, uh, the key enemies. Oh, that was a lucky hit right there. I'll give you that one. Oh my god, like, just two in a row. You're not gonna get me, like, three in a row. I promise you that, Ultra Greed. Like, probably only use Maw of the Void when you're invincible. That's Empty Vessel doing its work. Or if there's too many of these guys. Or you better, yeah, just use it against the, uh, the coins. Should have realized that. That'd be a practical use for Maw of the Void in this fight. Just use it against the, uh, coins. I guess the bombs are okay. Oh god, that's a nickel. You ain't getting that. Oh, we're invincible. Good. Go nuts. Oh, this is so good. You know what? If we had to do green mode as the lost, I'm not as terrified. Because to be honest, like, we do have many easy outs as the lost when it comes to fighting Ultra Greed. Ultra Greed is not as hard as Hush. Like, I'm telling you, I can easily just beat Ultra Greed, taking no hits depending on the type of run that I had. Now, Ultra Greed could drop coins on me and it just pretty much render that moot. But still, there's still more potential for, like, succeeding against Ultra Greed as the Lost, compared to fighting Hush or Mega Satan. But, again, that all depends on the type of run I get. It's all up in the air. Maybe it's a bad idea to, like, try new pills during this fight. Oh, man, he just got a shit ton of money from that. That could have gone towards the machine. That was very unfortunate. Whoa! Okay. That was almost like a vortex. Just sucking me in. Oh no, don't even try it. Okay. I think the redder he is, the faster he can get stuff to happen. Which sucks. But he's almost dead now. You almost creeped up on me. Oh, good, we got him just before he could release more minions. Key bomb is unlocked as his dripping baby. Okay, we're at 451. That is solid. So we ended at 451. Okay. We can probably get to over 500 easily. Just don't cap out well before then, because that would suck. Hopefully I can actually go back to the other room and pick up the quarter. That would give me even more time. I don't know if you can leave that room. Or this room. Come on, give me something good. Big payout, big payout, big payout. Okay, we made it to 500. Pop two of diamonds. I guess we can try to blow this corpse up. He didn't have any money. That's unfortunate. Okay, still at 0%. Okay, 1% capping rate. I'm okay with that. Just don't cap out now. Um, we can get to like 599 maximum. Let's just push for that. Because, let's face it, we're at the second half of our goal now. Like, remember, the goal is 999, and then you put in another coin to unlock the Keeper. So, we're over halfway. And we only played Greed Mode, like, what, maybe a dozen times? That's a pretty good deal. Let me tell you that much right now. I'm happy with that. 
Come on, we just gotta keep the machine going. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is a great run! I am happy I took Empty Vessel, because I felt that that was the star of the show. In fact, maybe the star of the show was was from the last run. Okay, 590. Okay, you can't go back to get the quarter. Well, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. But there we go! We got ourselves another solid run! And we completed Lazarus' post-it note. Okay, so who do we have post-it notes are complete for? Maggie? Eve, Samson, Lazarus, and Lilith. So, was it really only just four characters? Let's see, one, two, three, four... No, it's five characters, okay. We got 12 available, so I still got a long way to go. But I mean, pretty much everyone else, except for the Lost, only has like one note left, and that's Mega Satan. Alright, so only the Lost needs Greed Mode and Hush and Mega Satan. Okay, fair enough. So I guess I'll stop the video here, and the next episode we'll have another run. See ya, everybody.